Hi guys, Nick here from Intuitive Tennis. How do we aim in tennis? How do we get the ball to the desired location? Is this something that we are aware of, that we're mechanically doing, or is it an intuitive process? Check out today's video and find out. There are basically just two directions in which we can strike a tennis ball. If we can hit it straight or we can hit it diagonally. So if we stand in the middle of the court and if we hit the ball straight, that is a straight ball. If we hit it, let's say, inside out with a forehand to this corner, uh, this would be a diagonal ball or a cross-court ball. And if we hit it uh, diagonally over to the left, that's a cross-court ball. Now, depending on where I'm standing in the court, so if I'm hitting a forehand from over here, if I hit it down the line, uh, that is still a straight ball. And the same goes for the backhand side. If I hit a backhand from uh, the middle of the court, uh, it's basically a straight ball. And this doesn't change if I go uh, over here and hit it down the line, uh, that is still a straight ball. Uh, so there's a big importance in learning uh, how to hit down the middle. If you know how to hit down the middle, you will later on uh, be able to hit down the line uh, very easily. So what are the mechanics behind directional control? Well, basically it's a small change in the angle of your racket. That's going to determine uh, where the ball is going to go. And the further away uh, from the net you are, uh, the smaller this angle has to be. Uh, so for example, uh, if I, you can look from this angle, if I was going to hit a ball uh, straight down the middle of the court, and you see you know, this is, would be parallel to the net if we imagine the net being in front of me. So if my uh, racket goes slightly this way, uh, from the baseline this would be enough uh, to make the ball go inside out. And then if my racket angle is slightly over this way, uh, this would be enough to send the ball from the baseline over towards the cross court side. If we are closer to the net, however, uh, and we're trying to do an angled a volley, this angle of the racket face is going to be more drastic. So if I'm at the net and the angle of my racket face is like this, uh, this is going to give me a nice uh, cross court angle towards the other side. Therefore, the further away from the net I am, uh, the smaller uh, this angle of the racket face uh, has to be to give me directional control. To illustrate how small this angle has to be is basically if we turn the racket uh, parallel to the baseline like this and uh, this would send the ball uh, straight down the middle of the court and if I change this angle uh, uh, just a little bit see there's a very small uh, degree of change like the tip of my racket is uh, still on the baseline and if you follow this line uh, you can see here that the ball if we just follow this line it's going to go basically towards uh, the single slide on the other side. So you can see how small this angle is that's going to determine the direction of our ball. How do we aim? Well, it's a completely intuitive process. Uh, the opposite of doing it intuitively would be to literally aim with your racket uh, towards the intended target. And this is what many uh, beginners or even some intermediate players uh, have trouble with. So basically the player would slow down the contact zone of the stroke and literally aim towards the desired target like this. And what this does, it takes the entire uh, acceleration out of the stroke, it takes the racket head speed out of the stroke, and now you're left with kind of a pushy and slow shot. What has to happen instead, we must do this directional control intuitively. In other words, uh, we simply are going to select the desired location of the incoming ball and then we're going to simply do it. We learned this very early on. And this is learned and maybe in the first two or three months of playing tennis. We figure out how to make uh, this small change in the racket phase uh, completely subconsciously. And so we basically are simply uh, picking the spot in our head and we're simply going there. And so this shot, I'm going to go down the line. I'm not thinking how I'm going to do it, but I'm simply going to aim there and I'm going to maintain my racket head speed. This was cross court. Uh, the same goes on the serve. If you do it the other way around, uh, you will be forced to slow down and you will lose your uh, racket head speed. Many of my students are actually not aware that they have this ability to aim intuitively. Uh, they're very surprised uh, when I tell them, uh, don't think about the target, uh, simply pick the target in your head and go there and it works like magic. Uh, so try it out next time you're on the court. Uh, instead of thinking about what happens at the contact point, uh, simply select the desired location of the shot and then simply execute it without losing uh, acceleration and that way you can maintain 
uh, your racket head speed. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave a comment in the section below. I will be happy to respond. I'll see you next time.